Hello, I'm Sam, and welcome to 4 Minutes 2, the 4-Minute Geek Pop Culture Podcast, here every week to update you on all things geek. On today's episode, a review of Ultimate Spider-Man number 1 and some of the biggest geek news of last week. Got it? Good. Let's get to it. This week, here's a review of Marvel Comics' Ultimate Spider-Man No. 1. Marvel Comics' Ultimate Spider-Man No. 1 was written by Jonathan Hickman and drawn by Marco Dicetko, taking place in the new Ultimate Universe, designated Universe 6160, The comic gives us a Peter Parker in his mid-30s, married with children, and not the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that we know. Yet. It features beautiful artwork and an interesting new origin story along with debates on journalism by two characters you would have never guessed. But is it worth your time? Absolutely. This was a 10 out of 10 first issue. Like, I was expecting something good, but this was perfect. There's a joke line among Marvel fans, in Hickman we trust, and this is just another example on why he's my favorite. This was an amazing new origin story. It gives us the same inspirational vibe as the OG Spider-Man story, but with some new and interesting changes that makes this an instant classic. One of these changes leads to a new character partnership that has longtime fans already singing Hickman's praises. But let's not forget the artwork. Chichetko's character design fits the story perfectly, and it makes me wish he was drawing more books for the Ultimate Universe. Seriously, Peter with a beard is kinda perfect. With inspirational dialogue that's full of heart, amazing artwork, and plenty of mystery and twists peppered through a 40-page book, I couldn't ask for a better starting point. If you're a fan of Spider-Man and would like a new story following a grown-up version of the hero and his journey, this is the comic for you. Welcome back to the second half. Here are the news stories from last week that you should know. Ed Brubaker comic Criminal is officially becoming a TV show on Amazon Prime. We're getting a Mandalorian movie called The Mandalorian and Grogu, directed by Jonathan Favreau. The first trailer for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live movie dropped last Wednesday. The identity of Marvel Comics' new ghostwriter has been revealed, and it's Parker Robinson's, aka The Hood, the former crime boss of NYC. Lawrence Fishburne will be playing the character Regis in the fourth season of Netflix's The Witcher. R.L. Stein confirms that Netflix's next Fear Street movie is based on the book The Prom Queen. And in rumors, Paramount is making a The Max movie based on the comic and MTV cartoon starring Channing Tatum. Paramount also has a live action Danny Phantom movie in development. An animated TV show described as a what if version of Star Wars is in development and the trailer for Deadpool 3 will debut during the Super Bowl next month. Lastly, don't forget to check out this week, The Marvels coming to VOD Tuesday, January 16, The Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown coming for all major consoles on Thursday, January 18, Has Been Hotel coming to Amazon Prime on Friday, January 19, and this week in new comics we have Marvel's Avengers Twilight number 1, Image Comics' Cobra Commander No. 1 and The Weatherman No. 1, and DC's John Constantine Hellblazer Dead in America No. 1. And that's everything. Please follow us on all social media things, link tree in the episode description, like and review this podcast, and share this with some geeks you know. We're trying to grab the fan base. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time. One.